Doctor Strange Love, man, that's like one of my favorite Kubrick movies. Hey, doctor, oh, oh, sorry, sorry. I guess I'm talking about a different doctor. <laughs> All right, let's talk about Doctor Strange. Doctor Strange, the reality you know is one of many. It was. Eh. It's fine. It's better than Suicide Squad. Yay! I was expecting something really different or just, I don't know, a little more creative. You you go for the first movie with magic and you make it all right. Everyone in the movie did a all right job, you know. Hannibal and Sherlock did okay. They didn't bring anything really crazy or like different or great into the screen, they just brought what whatever the script said. It's like, here's the script, uh, just read these lines and then we can film the other lines. Here we go. Eh. The only thing I can talk about well about this movie is that they kind of changed the ending a little bit, not too much. Before I talk about the <laughs> ending, I gotta talk about some other things that stood out in the movie. Not the plot of their characters because, you know, they were just there. Yeah. The plot in this movie is... I don't have to talk about it. If you watch Iron Man, if you watch this movie. But yeah, besides of the alright acting and the alright plot, comedy in this movie was really bad. Like, really bad. Like, they even put a bad joke in the trailer. Mr. Doctor. Mr. Doctor. It's strange. Maybe. Ugh. But that was not the worst joke. The worst joke in this movie made my the cinema I was in go silent. Strange goes to get a book and he meets this character called Wong. And then Strange is like, oh, hey, I'm Doctor Strange. And Wong goes, I'm Wong. So th this is what the joke looks like. Oh, hey, I'm Doctor Strange. I'm Wong. Just Wong? Yeah. Like Adele? What? Like Eminem? What? Like Beyonce? That's... that's the joke. Ugh, boy, that joke was really dry. Oh, hey, talking about dry, let's talk about the fight scenes. The fight choreography was not bad, but it wasn't great. It was just in the middle. It's just them fighting and then a bunch of cuts around. The only thing interesting on that fight choreography or in the fights themselves is just the background because it's just like shit moving around and colors and you're just like, I'm just gonna be looking at those things in the back. And shape reality. And you're just gonna be like, hmm, that's kind of cool, I guess. Like the backgrounds are cool and all, but it doesn't have any depth. You can't feel the texture in it. You can like just grab that background just like... <laughs> in Guardians of the Galaxy, you feel felt you're like in a different planet there's like a bunch of shit walking around some weird animals and stuff like that nothing like that in this movie they go to a mirror dimension there's like no weird monsters creatures there's nobody who's like really weird looking and like inverted or some shit like that no it's just like oh we're in a different dimension now am i cool is there anything cool besides like just the background here no it's just the background. Talking about nothing but background, let's talk about the real villain in this movie. To do that, I have to talk about the ending scene of the movie, which I said it was different from the other Marvel movies, you know, because every Marvel movie fight at the end is them fighting and destroying parts of the city. But now, just play that scene in reverse and you got Doctor Strange's fight scene. While they're fighting, the city's fixing itself. But before I just throw Doctor Strange into the side, I'm gonna talk about the real villain of this movie. He's a purplish head. No, not that one. Okay, this one is different. This one has fire on its head. There you go. Yeah, that, that's kind of what it looks like. Yeah. So this flaming purple head in the middle of whatever the fuck it is, just is there chilling and then Doctor Strange just flies to it like, yo dude, your henchman over there is like fucking up my city, so could you maybe stop? And the thing's like, no. Doctor Strange is like, I'm gonna annoy you until you do, buddy. How the conflict is ended is by Doctor Strange really bugging a giant flaming head in the middle of a different dimension. Get out of here, Doctor Strange. Eh. Cool, cool movie, 10 out of 10, because it's a Marvel movie, so yeah. <sighs> 
All right, I'm done with this fucking shit. So guys, I'm kind of curious to see what you guys think about this movie. So leave what you think about the movie in the comments or send it at my Twitter at good old Matt. And don't forget to press that like button and subscribe if you haven't already.